Okay. Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem. This, this situation here, this is not this. The numbers don't have the same base. But we can make them have the same base. Okay, how are we going to do it? Okay. Um, you've got twos there, right? Yeah. We can do any of those. Ali, you got an idea? Times, times everything by two. Okay, now, pause. First idea, first idea. Like when you've got fractions, hold on to pair, hold on. If you had something like this, uh, I'm just trying to think of examples, right? Yeah, I know you know, but we've got to get there together. Just because you know doesn't mean... Well, we need, to, we need to finish that idea first, okay? Now here, you can multiply everything by 2. We were just looking at these like last week, right? What would happen when I multiply both sides by 2? You get x, and then you get... What's, what's 2 times a quarter? 2 times a quarter. It's a half, isn't it? Yeah, well done. Okay, good. So there you go. I could do that. Now, this is important because this is why multiplying by 2 here, not such a good idea. We could do it here, but you absolutely cannot do it here. Can anyone see why? Mm. See this thing I just circled in red? What is that? We gave it a name, right? We, have, we spent like half a topic on it. This thing's an equation, right? It's an equation. This is not an equation. There's no equal sign on this line here. This isn't like, there's no x's or anything like that. It's not an equation. You can't just multiply things by whatever number you like unless it's an equation because it's a balanced thing. You can do it to both sides, that's fine. There are no sides to this. There's just numbers, okay? So don't multiply by two. You'll change it to a completely different thing, okay? It was a good idea, but for a different kind of problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Another suggestion. Nathan had his hand up first. How would you simplify it? The idea is to simplify. How are we going to do it? Um, make it like the base number one times two, and then we can simplify the indices. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I need some more space. Nathan, your suggestion was one times two, right? Yeah. One times two. And then the indices are like. Mm. Okay, so Pear, fine, I'll let you have a go. Um, just like in an equation, you have to find the common thing. So in that, you would make the 2 a 4, and then half the 6 to make it a 3. So it'd be 4. Oh, well, okay, oh, I think that you're onto something, but slow down. Slow down. <laughs> you want you want something in common. Now, hold on, this is, this is, we're on the right track here. Okay, getting things in common is one of the key ways things work together. For instance, if I gave you this, Right? You got fractions, and here we want the same base, but here we don't want the same base, we want the same denominator, denominator. right? So we say common denominator, and then they can work. What would we do in this case? Two times two. Times two. We'd make that six. three over six. You'd make that two over six, and yep. then you get the answer. Cool. Okay? Now, we're gonna do something very similar. So, Pear, tell me again, but slower this time. Are you saying that 2 to the power of 6 Thailand. is the same as 4 to the yes. power of Is that what you're suggesting? Yes. Okay, now I'm curious. Who that's thinks right. who thinks that that's true? Like, this is actually very, very important. Is there, I'm not too sure, to be honest. So okay. Is, is 2 to the 6 equal to 4 cubed? Question mark. Is it? I'm not sure. How could, how could you tell? Well, you could put it in a calculator. That'd do it. Right? Pretty sure that's 64. Right? This is also, so actually, this works. Is that always true? Is it always true? No. For example, for example, it depends. Um, let's just let's just try it, okay? What if I had five? No, hold on. Yeah, five. Okay, five to the power of six, right? Is that the same as ten to the power of three? 
Normal. Is it the set? Okay, because what I did was, you know, from here to here, these numbers, this number got twice as big, so this one got half the size. And I'm trying to do the same thing here. Does it work? No. no I, but that's not the question. Are you sure? Yeah, yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> but you see, here's the thing, right? Well, you have to it take does. an approach. It does, it does, does it? Does it? Yes. Yes. It does. Uh, yes, it does. It does. Yeah. It does. Well, that's, that's 1,536 and one, like 10,000. Okay, let's take this guy, right? He's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's 15. Oh, that's 1,000. 5 times 5, 25. 125. 625, 3,125, uh, 15,625. Oh. So you are a cubic calculator, I'll give it to you. I just spend a lot of time with numbers. <laughs> 10 cubed on the other hand, actually we can do 10. We did scientific notation. That's just a thousand. It doesn't work. Okay, now, here's the thing, okay. The reason why I'm going after this, because we can actually take your approach for this question, right? But I'm interested in giving you an approach that will always work. Not just one that occasionally, it coincidentally works, but most of the time, it's a bad way to go, okay? So here's what we'll do. Let's just try that, seeing as we just did show that it works. For this one in particular, okay? Let's go after it, and then we'll look at an example where it does and see what else we can do if this doesn't work. Now what do I do? Add them. This is two numbers with the same base. Plus so, the bit, uh, so I add the four indices. Four to the power of three plus three. That works. Four to the power of six. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah. If you're in test in um, you go four to the power of three times four to the power of three, and then you go equals four to the power of three plus three. Do you, if you write that in, is that like an extra mark or something you don't have to? Oh, sir! Hold on, hold on. The, the answer to your question is, no, it's not an extra mark, but I'm putting it in for you so you know what's going so on. Right? You know how, have you ever had that experience where you go back to working later on and you're like, I don't know why this Isn't it is, like, just is. Okay, so that's why. Like yeah, that's another reason why. This, this shows you understand, okay?